affection for me all through the cross joy has come to the whole world forever blessing the Lord we praise his resurrection he endured the cross for us and by death he joined him Glory to Jesus Christ. Jesus. Glory to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the Apostle Paul tells us today of all the things that to be a true Christian one must endure. That sometimes we're considered, as he says, the off-scourings of all mankind. It means the things that are cleaned and thrown away or cast aside from society. That sometimes we preach life but are visited by death. That we always have the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ abiding within us and giving us strength to endure. And yet when Paul describes how many things a Christian must truly suffer in this world, we wonder are there any Christians left in this world? Where, if we listen to Paul, is that arrogant, condescending, self-righteous triumphalism that so many televangelists and other preachers are preaching? Where is this mythology about being born again through an emotional experience and then everybody around you who isn't like you is going to hell? How little we pay attention either to the Apostle or to our Lord Jesus Christ himself in this world. But to be truly a follower of Jesus Christ is always a struggle. A struggle not only with those round about us, but even a struggle within the Christian community itself. And this is one of the great challenges that's placed before us as Orthodox Christians. For what does our Lord Jesus Christ teach us in the Gospel reading today? But that all the law, everything taught in all of the Scripture, everything taught in all of the sacred tradition, everything taught in all of the canons, depend absolutely upon our capacity to love. For he says to love the Lord your God with all of your being, and here we come again to this verse which we speak of so often, to love your neighbor as yourself. But this requires empathy. And this is the one great thing that has gone missing in most of Christianity today, is empathy for the suffering of other human beings. People may boast, oh well, we go out on the street and we give backpacks to street people and we feed the poor and we give out coffee. But do we have empathy for the suffering and plight of other human beings? Not just those who are on the street as if it were having a neon sign saying, I'm a street person, help me. But to other human beings in the struggle of daily life. Who sometimes seem to be an offense to us, but are never an offense to our Lord Jesus Christ. Who sometimes, because they're different from us, seem to be someone we should make an outcast or say something evil about. But our Lord Jesus Christ does not consider them to be outcasts and says nothing evil about them. Empathy is what is being taught in this commandment of our Lord. Empathy is a kind of capacity for co-suffering love, to understand the sufferings of the other person even if we do not share in their own particular suffering, but that through our own inner human suffering we identify with that of others. And what is evil except the absence of empathy? Evil is lacking the capacity to understand the sufferings and the joys of other human beings, and therefore to use and abuse 
the rest of mankind or other human beings or individuals. Brothers and sisters, to be followers of Jesus Christ isn't simply to run around quoting chapter and verse of scriptures and boasting at how well you know them, or going around beating on your own chest and saying, I was born again and you weren't, you're going to hell. To be a follower of Jesus Christ is to have humility not only before God, but to have humility before our fellow human beings, and not to be so certain of ourselves that we feel that we stand upon such solid ground that anyone who is not like us is not going to the heavenly kingdom. Is this not what our Lord Jesus Christ is proclaiming today? And do you see how much all of those teachers of the law and the prophets, all of those who knew the scripture by heart, for there were no chapters and verses in those days, they were added later, but they knew the scripture by heart. They could tell you every story and quote from every prophet and quote all of the law. And yet they misunderstood the prophecy about the Messiah. They did not understand that scripture which they could quote. For he said, how is it that David in spirit calls the Messiah his Lord? How can he be his son if he calls him Lord? Can it be that all those who quoted the scripture and flogged people with it or beat them on the head with the Torah had been studying and reading all these many years and had not understood what they read because their hearts were fixed on law and not on love. They never heard the words of God who said, I will have mercy and not sacrifice. Brothers and sisters, this is a danger for all. Of course we have to accept right doctrine, but to accept every doctrine, every dogma, to be able to quote the entire scripture, to know the canons by heart, and to profess every doctrine with our lips, still does not equal faith. It still does not equal following our Lord Jesus Christ. It still does not mean that we know Christ or that we know God. For the heart that is incapable of true empathy, of true love for neighbor, equal to the empathy we have for ourselves, the love that we have for ourselves, and yet beyond even that love. If we don't have that capacity, if we have not obeyed the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, go and learn what it means, I will have mercy and not sacrifice. Then we have not heard our Lord Jesus Christ, nor comprehended his teaching, and we are not his children and we are not his followers. Brothers and sisters, of all the things that anyone can tell you in this life, in this church, in sermons, it is perhaps to quote the beloved Apostle John who says, whoever has fear has not yet learned how to love. And the last words he spoke in this life as he lay dying, surrounded by his own disciples, little children love one another. This is the gospel. This is the law. This is the prophets. That we have loved one for another. That we have empathy for all mankind. For every human being. So that we can truly love them as, as ourselves. This is what the faith is truly about. And everyone who has faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Who has turned their soul and their faith toward the will of God will understand that our Lord Jesus Christ said, by this they'll know that you're my disciples, that you love one another. There's nothing greater and nothing more that I could ever say in a sermon or that I could ever tell you or teach you, except to learn how to love one another and expand that love outward and have a co-suffering love and empathy for other human beings 
who are suffering mentally, emotionally, inner human suffering, the pain of which is so much greater than physical pain. This is what our Lord Jesus Christ is calling us to do because that kind of love, that kind of empathy is healing. It heals other people. And salvation is all about the healing of the fallen human nature. And our ministry as disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ is to be healers in this world, not judges, not prosecuting attorneys, but to be ones who apply the healing balm of empathy and of love to those who are suffering and struggling in this life. This is the key that will unlock the gate of paradise to each one of us.